All right, welcome back everybody to Life Post Stroke. This is the channel where I pretty much put everything that doesn't make it over onto my main channel, Hayes Tech. I'm gonna do a very short video showing the snowboard, uh, and it's called the Arian. Arians, uh, A-R-I-E-N-S, that's how it's pronounced. Uh, and it is the S18, or the model number is the S18. So, when we come back, I'm gonna show you how this thing works. So, don't go away. The, um, the Arians S18 is a snowblower for people who can't afford to go out and purchase a self-driven snowblower that I've seen sell for well, six, seven, eight hundred dollars and up, okay? This is starting point, okay? It does not propel itself. You have to push it. It is not very wide. So it takes a very narrow swatch and uh, it is not light. Well, it, I guess I, that depends on who's measuring its weight. I'm gonna try to show you, I'll probably try to inset some videos And I'm just going to do a walk around and let you guys see what it looks like. So let's do that now. Okay, as you guys can see, uh, it's all manual. There's nothing, you know, you can't just screw a hand crank like to move direction. It's got a little lock down over here where you loosen it up and, of course, adjust your chute. Here's your pull start, right there. It is push drive, it is not self drive. And there you guys go, it's an Arians S18. Here's your gas cap. I mean, it's very simple. And uh, I will roll in here uh, how many horsepower it is, what kind of engine, but it takes a little key slot right there put that in and then give it a couple pumps right here and it should start up so let me put the key in it and start it up and let's see what this thing looks like in action all right I'm gonna put the key in the key slot and it's just a plastic key you don't turn it it basically goes in and unlocks it to be able to start
I'll tell you right now. I mean, it's it's okay, but if you're gonna get one, spend your money, get one that has a self drive. <laughs> I mean, it will do the job, but man. All right, let's go ahead and finish this driveway. And you want to be careful you don't hit other people's cars and stuff, so you want to watch your direction.
Uh, I did want to bring up one more thing about this snowblower. Now, when we first got it, um, I brought it home and I went through all the checks. Make sure you read the instructions on it. It's going to tell you how to go through. Make sure that you have the oil and uh, any locks that they may have put on it, you know, for shipping off of it. We purchased this at Lowe's and they pretty much took all the locks off. They made sure it was topped off with oil. So all that was good. The issue that I found with it was it was leaking gasoline. And for the life of me, I can't figure out where it was at. Uh, at first, I thought maybe I overfilled it, but no, that wasn't it. And it would only do it when you first started it up, okay? It actually would spring out a lot of gasoline all over the place. And the more you ran it, then it would seem to seal itself up and it would quit. But uh, like I said, for the first 15, 20 minutes that I was running it for the first time, it was leaving puddles of gasoline which is not good you don't want that so I don't know if the gaskets in it were dried maybe they were starting to take on you know what you know oil moisture and stuff it needed to make them gaskets swell back up again I don't know but I did want to mention that okay so you may want to check into that I was going to take it back to Lowe's but it stopped it just stopped on its own uh on the second time I used it so so I just wanted to uh fill you in on that um other than that it starts quickly. It does not miss spit and sputter. It does run fairly decent. So it does have that. So let's go ahead and get back to the video. Okay, well, as you guys can see, this thing will throw snow. It will do the job. But I mean, <laughs> I'm getting my shovel out. And to be quite honest with you, we got about two and a half, maybe three inches of snow. It's very light and fluffy. I could have probably done this with a shovel and I could have probably done it faster. So I've got the shovel. I'm going to go out there, clean up the end of the driveway, pull the truck back in, and we'll go ahead and close this video out. I'll let you know what I think about this snowblower and I'll let you know if I think it's worth you purchasing. So let's go finish what I couldn't get with this. All right, well, what do I think of the Arians S18 single stage snowblower? 
If you have a small driveway about like what I have, I wouldn't even get it. I would just use your shovel. Um, I could see where like if you had, actually the last snowfall we had, we had more snow and uh, I waited until it was done snowing, which was a bad thing to do because then I had a heck of a time with this with wet snow. So if you have wet snow, you want to get out there <laughs> and, and you don't want to get it, let it get more than say about three inches of snow and it'll throw the snow for you. If it gets up four or five, even six inches of wet snow, forget it with this, just forget it. It does the job. If you are somebody that does landscaping or something, you have a lot of sidewalks to do, then yeah, I could recommend this. It will do a sidewalk really nicely as long as you don't let the snow get too deep. And I, I get why my wife got it for me. And again, it, it does help me out. Shoveling, I lose my balance a lot. With this, I got something to hang on to. It helps give me some balance and it does clear the driveway. You know, I mean, I'll show you again. Right there, I mean, it definitely cleared the driveway off. So it definitely did what it was supposed to do. Um, but again, for its cost, this thing costs right around $400, a little less in some places, a little more in others, you know, depending on whether or not it's on sale. Um, again, I cannot recommend it. If you are looking for something serious to throw snow, go get a self-propelled one with the big rubber tires on it. Uh, I know it's going to cost you about double what this costs or more, but they are well worth it, okay? But if you just have a bunch of sidewalks you need to clean off, yeah, I say go for it. You know, it'll definitely do that. So, all right, guys, that's all I have. Can't think of anything else. And thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.